Hello everyone, welcome to Forensic Science with Dr. Upesh and I am Dr. Upesh, a forensic expert and a professor of forensic science. So if you have just completed class 12 or graduation, if you are curious about solving the crime mysteries, if you are curious about working with the law enforcement, so forensic science might be the perfect career for you. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the career, job prospects and everything about forensic science. So let's get started. So forensic science is nothing but the application of various scientific principles or various sciences to solve a crime mystery. It contains the areas like fingerprints, toxicology, forensic ballistics, cyber forensics, forensic serology, forensic biology, DNA forensics and much more. So forensic scientists really work behind the scenes to solve the crime with the help of the police and aid police and the law enforcement agencies to reach to a possible conclusion. So if you have just completed class 12, then you have a great option to enter into a university for bachelors of forensic science. So there are two types of bachelors as per the new education policy 2020 of University Grant Commission. You can either go for three year bachelor's degree or you can go for four years bachelor's degree in which you have BSc honors with research. So you have both the options open three years as well as four years bachelor's degree. You may have various certificate programs at various universities also which you can do as a prerequisite course and if you have completed your graduation in any science stream may it be bachelors in zoology botany or chemistry or physics or bsc mathematics or any science graduate including engineering then you can go for masters in forensic science there you will be having multiple specializations as well as you can go for msc digital forensics and in india as you know that we are having various entrance examinations like cuet duet and others so you can go for those entrance examination and apply for the university of your choice to opt for the career in forensic science if i talk about some of the top colleges of india in forensic science then of course the national forensic science university is the one for which you have to give the entrance examination sgt university in gurugram is the another good option for most of the forensic science enthusiasts as they provide multiple training and internship opportunities for their students. Apart from this, you may find various universities in all the states across India to pursue one. But what you need to look for, dear friends, you need to look for great teachers. Do not get influenced by great buildings or anything else. Just look for great teachers and the expert who will be teaching you. So go personally to the university, meet the teachers what we call the faculty members and then find out that what is good for you. So you may have various specialization in forensic science. If you enter in forensic science field in masters, you may have a specialization options like forensic toxicology and chemistry where you analyze the poisons and toxins and other chemicals. Then you have the specialization of forensic biology and serology. It works with the examination of biological fluid encountered at the scene of crime like blood, semen, saliva and others. And in the specialization of caution document and fingerprints, you are dealing with all types of caution document, handwriting analysis, signature fraud, credit card fraud, passport frauds, fingerprint examination, lifting of fingerprints from the crime scene and much more. And one of the booming career in the area of forensic science is cyber forensic, which is also called as digital forensic. You have a great career in cyber forensic so you do not have to have the degree of a computer science to enter into the field of digital forensic if you have one it is great but if you do not have so do not get demotivated because digital forensic is completely different from computer applications where you study different softwares and hardwares of course we need the knowledge of hardware and software but in your master's degree in digital forensic you will be taught all of that each of these specializations opens a new career path for you creates multiple opportunities in public as well as private sectors 
So if you want to work in the government sector, you can work in forensic science laboratories. There are state forensic science laboratory. There are central forensic science laboratory and some laboratory work directly under CBI. Also in criminal investigation departments means CID, they are having their own forensic science regional laboratories where you can work as a forensic expert. Apart from this, you can work in narcotic control bureau. You can work in different police units as well as various cyber security firms. You can also become a forensic auditor or forensic accounting expert to analyze fraud in different corporate sectors. You can also work in fingerprint bureaus. You can also work in crime investigation bureaus. And if you are keen to become a teacher, a faculty member, then you can go for assistant professorship. You can clear net examination, JRF examination and other entrance examination to enter into these areas. And one of the highest paying area is freelancing. As I am also a forensic expert, I do freelancing for all the law enforcement agencies, including government sectors as well as private sectors. I do cases for banks, insurance companies, as well as investigation bureaus. So definitely freelancing is the another booming career for you guys. You always might have heard that forensic experts are often being called in the courtroom to justify their opinion or to witness their opinion. So you can charge per visit to the court of law or to the clients. So let's talk about the salary. So if you are just a budding forensic expert with a graduation in forensic science, you may start somewhere with 25,000 Indian rupees to 50,000 Indian rupees. As many of the students, those have been taught by me in graduation, they are working with the police department with a salary of 40 to 45,000 Indian rupees. Same goes with the private forensic lab. There are multiple private forensic labs which are available in India and they are paying a handsome amount to the forensic science graduate. And of course, if you have completed your master's and PhD in forensic science, then the pay is way more high. As a freelance forensic expert, you can earn somewhere around 70,000 Indian rupees to 5 lakhs Indian rupees per month. It depends on your experience and your specialization. So here are some career tips for you. Attend seminar or workshop in different universities. Attend some summer schools which are often offered by different universities in India and abroad. You can learn some new digital tools which are used in forensic science. You can publish papers while you are in masters or your PhD and you can join forensic science forums which are available on LinkedIn and different social media platforms. So if you found this video very helpful, please do not forget to like, share or subscribe this channel and please circulate this great career with your friends who are looking to become a forensic expert. Thank you very much guys. Meet you again.